Hi everyone, um, this is my first official video of Sacred Magic, the YouTube channel. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, today's how-to video is going to be about how to make altar tiles. First off, I'm going to show you a few examples of the altar tiles I've already made. There's one. It's my fiance. It's a tricycle. That's my own personal altar tile. Here's another one I've made, and here's another one with moon phases on it. Isn't it lovely? Okay. First off, what you're going to need is this nice little stuff right here. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It was maybe about $3 a can. Um, it was like maybe 40% off, so that's awesome. Um, you will need a wooden block like this. These were $0.99 cents at Hobby Lobby. Not bad at all. You will need a pencil. 0.7 lead works really good. This is 0.5. Didn't work so well, but that's all I had with me. And you will need this little nifty contraption. Wood burning pin. Also got this at Hobby Lobby. It was $14.99, but with the 40% off coupon they have on the website, it was 9 bucks. So, I didn't get hurt there. Okay. The first step in making an altar tile is to know what you want on the tile. So, once you think of a design, you can draw it on the wood plank with the pencil. Or, if you don't want to draw it on the wood plank, if you aren't so artistic, you can print it off on a sheet of paper and then um, trace it onto the wood. So, that's just fine. You can do whatever you want to. Is your altar tile? So be it. Um, you can also paint it if you are uncomfortable using a wood burning pen. I don't blame you. They do get really hot. Um, so you can paint it as well. All the tiles work just the same if they're painted. Okay, so first things first, draw your design on the tile. Um, make sure that when you're drawing it on the tile, you've already got your wood burning pen heating on the side on its stand that comes with it. Um, please be careful with the wood burning pen because they reach an excess of 950 degrees, so that's a really bad burn. <clears throat> okay. So, you will see on the website, the link is down below in the box, that I posted a step-by-step -step picture tutorial on how to do these tiles. So, um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the video, um, but as soon as you get your design drawn on your tile, burn it with a wood-burning pen, obviously, because that's why you need it. Um, erase any excess pencil marks. When you're done, if you're using um, a piece of furniture or an altar cloth, I suggest getting a piece of paper. See, I've already used this one for the picture today. Um, to spray this nifty little clear coat. To, it avoids wear and tear on the altar tile, so, I mean, you want to protect it from any kind of water damage or anything like that. So, that's how you make an altar tile. Well, at least that's how I make an altar tile. Um, you can pretty much add anything on it that you want to. If you look down here, on mine, I have a triquetra and the moon phases, starting with the full moon. This is how I did my full moon on mine. And then going all the way down to the new moon, and likewise on the other side. See, I messed up here a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I did the same thing here, however, I used the full moon as a dark moon on this one, and then I went vice versa, and this is the new moon. No moon faces on this one. Um, I put the triple goddess symbol on there and a pinnacle. Yay, that's awesome. Um, one thing I forgot about this one is that I added the element symbols on the sides. You see that? Isn't that nifty? Wonderful. Okay. This one's a simple design that I did for my fiance. Um, I actually really like this design myself, but I wanted to make ones that were, you know, different from one another. So, there's the top, and I have the moon phases on the side here. Lovely, lovely. And this one is just a simple um, tricycle design with earth, air, fire, water on the side. So that's wonderful. Okay, that pretty much concludes the how-to on how to make an altar tile. Um, I'm going to put my 
altar tile in the middle of my altar, and I will show you how it looks. So, hang tight. Right. Okay. This is how it looks. I think it fits in fairly well. So, like I said, have fun with it. It'll be wonderful. So, thank you so much for watching. Blessed be.